Welcome to Reader Syndicate 3.0, the next evolution of the look into counterculture that is canon. My name is Matthew, owner of Riot Seeds, and this started as a one-man mission for strain history and breeding science. Over time, it's evolved into something bigger, better, and more of a team effort. We will be joined by members of the Can Illuminati and other friends throughout the seasons to hear their takes on grow techniques, breeding science, strain history, and more. Our mission is to combat the narrative that corporate cannabis and seed posers are obfuscating for their own financial benefit. Welcome to the underground. We are the Syndicate. Uh, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Reader Syndicate. I'm Matthew, and this is my near and dear friend, Chucky Pollins. Blowing it what's, up. What's up, guys, gals? So this is second attempt. We thought we were live when it started. It didn't really work out so well. <laughs> Trying not to, to cuss super fast. So we'll see how that goes. What's up? I don't know. <laughs> so tell, yeah, me so about your, tell me about your weekend or your week. Well, I wanted to say thanks for everybody tuning in last episode it's pretty cool being on the show and finally getting some you know credit for the credits due i wanted to ask you before we get started because you didn't give me opportunity before we started uh are you are you sending me a check for last episode or i, I we'll talk about it after this but we'll talk about it after this yeah yeah okay. you do need, obviously need paid for your hard work yeah i was just wanted to say thanks for all the support got a lot of haters in my dms too talking about I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm a bum and all this crap. And so all y'all, I love y'all very much. But we didn't cover the Q&As last time. The whole point of the show last time, Matt, was the, Q, was <laughs> the, was, was the no questions way. and yeah. answers. So if you're, we're live, guys, gals, if you got questions, drop them in the little comp, the chat. I can't see the chat for some reason, Matt. But drop them for Matt in the chat, and we're going to go over some questions from the Discord as well that we didn't cover last time and we got some new ones as well today. So, all right. Well, you know, I was wondering, did you get any naughty pictures? I got a viewers? couple, mainly just dudes, balls. balls. Okay. Here, here's the thing, guys, if you're going to send me the ball pics, lift the sack. So I can see the, 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 you know, the, the, yeah. the TPA. My, well, I used to work with this guy. He called everything, well, maybe we shouldn't say that on YouTube, actually. Well, yeah, yeah, I digress. But got butthole pictures, got some guys wanting to do some collabos, you know. Yeah. And it's great because I'm trying to break in and, and drop my seed drops on you guys, you know, and it's great. And uh, I got some big projects in the works, you know, uh, stuff like that, uh, you know. Uh, but mainly, yeah, a lot of, a lot of ball pictures, uh, stuff like that. But, uh, you know. Do you appreciate those? Are, are you a fan of... Right. I mean, that's the, the over this weekend's the most balls and, and buttholes I've seen since being locked up. So it's, mm -hmm. it, it took me back to a place maybe that really isn't a positive state of mind. You know, mom's always telling me, like, keep your head high, just like you did, bro, before I went in jail. That's keep right. I did high. tell you this. St stay positive. <laughs> you know, you know me. I get honed in on that shit, that ADHD shit. Like, oh, fuck, I get in on it. And then I get mm -hmm. on Instagrams and I start making posts, but like, like nonstop post and shit, bro. Like when I when I ain't, when shit ain't going my way. Like when you when you say shit to me, sometimes like you know I get wild on Instagram. But you know I'm just I'm just want to I just want to say praise God. You know I'm holding my head up and yeah, just I'm glad to be here, Matt. I'm glad to to you know be here on the praise show. his name, praise his name. Hell yeah, yeah. Praise so him. I see this hat you have on. What what is this hat? Well. I had a lot of haters in my chat last time saying I don't know dilly shit about nothing, but I'll figure yeah. out, you know, I'm one of you guys. I'm trying to, I'm one of y'all, Matt. I'm here to shine the light on the game where the light needs to be shined on. You see what I'm That's saying? A beautiful we, got, hat. we got three stages, bro. Anyways, but yeah, it's nice. you know, let's get into some of these questions. Enough about me. I think people, you know, had enough of me last week ranting. Let's get into these questions, Matt. Like I said, if you've got some questions, drop them in the mother. Can we cuss now, Matt? I, I mean, yeah, I think so. I think we're going to probably get blocked no matter what just because of you. Fuck. All right. <laughs> Let's get in these questions. If you got some questions, drop them in the chat. We'll try to hit them as we go. But first, let's start off with Little Cabin in the Hood. He says, if you could pick one for the rest of your life, what would it be? Kim, Sour, OG Typer, or Hayes? <laughs> OG Typer. Um, 
Uh, I'll let you answer first on this. What, what would you pick? I mean, I, it seems obvious to me. Maybe. Mm, Kim, bro. What the? I, mean, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't I, expect any less. I mean, what the fuck? I'm going to waste our times with these questions. No, but you go ahead, Matt. What would you pick? I'd probably go OG Typer. Yeah. OG Typer, because I can the go back and get some Bubba out, that out of it if I uh, S1 it. Mm, get whatever I want. Hell yeah. I like the OG yeah. Typers. You know, I would probably pick OG Typers this second. I got to rock out for the Kim. I, yeah. Hope you're having a chilling, chillaxing Friday. Pinser says, I hope y'all are too. Uh, yeah. Straight out of Michigan. Chucky the fuck pollens. Okay, let's move on. Squirrel says, when you got the real dog, the real D, a real high flower haze, why pop seeds? Ooh, uh, good question. You know, I think at the end of the day, if you're growing and, you know, I think it's really important to always pop seeds if you got the space for it. I mean, me personally, I like to find the, the new stuff when I can or I'm looking for that new thing. Uh, you know, it does get boring cropping out the same shit over and over. Let's be real. I mean, it's fun for a couple cycles maybe. But, I, you know, it's like a treasure hunt Matt. you know you look out over at beautiful horizon and you think like like is the grass greener over there you know what i'm saying like always yeah what if i pop these seeds you know some of the best shit in the world was created by accident so i think to myself like if i pop these seeds maybe you know i find something cool i think it's also you know when you're talking about like the breeder syndicate some of these guys they make seeds so being able to pop some of their work you know be some of the first people to check that out some of these people like H&L and, and Pop and, you know, goat farm seeds and stuff like that, you know, they they really know their shit. They have a lot of experience in, in making seeds and working with genetics and, and have a lot of cuts. And let's be real, like, I'm Chucky the fuck Pollens. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So I really, you know, I look to them guys to kind of guide my hand in, the, in where I'm going. Maybe not my to my destination, but just, uh, to, you know. You know, it's fun to pop seeds. Who don't like to pop seeds? What the fuck? What kind of question is that? Yeah, I mean, you know, we could we could also talk about sharing clothes, and sometimes it's like trying to share your cousin. Yeah. You can get yeah. those diseases that pass back and forth between you and your friends real fast. Yeah, viruses, yeah. STDs, viruses. Yeah, what, what have you? I got cold sores at the yin yang. I don't need no more shit. Exactly. You know yeah, that shit's rough, man. Um, Bro. yeah, no, really, it's a, it's a real thing. So, uh, you, you're, you're less likely to find, you know, the hop slate and viroid in, uh, seed pops. Um, we don't really know the seed transmission rate, but it is a lot less than playing with clones. So yeah, there is that. Yeah. I mean, there's that, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that we, I mean, you know, just as well as me, Matt, I mean, just in the last few months, I've seen a few cases of, uh, of, of, of diseases and viruses and stuff like that. So it's like, mm -hmm. it ain't a joke, you guys. Don't fuck around with these clones, dropping $300,000, $500,000 on a fucking clone, and then you get germs, bro, bugs, stuff like I that. I try to tell people, if you know, if someone's selling you clones, it's very likely they're not in the position to have the clones that they're selling, or they would be kicked out of a lot of these trade circles where right. those clones exist. Um, so if someone's doing that, it's usually like a last-ditch effort. They're all out of money. And that's scary. You save money. The same one who's all out of money because you never know what their the jam's going to oh, be. Yeah. But y'all, yeah, it's just a lot of people making false scarcity on their elite selections, and usually those elite selections are a, a, a seed pop of three <laughs> maximum. <So> yeah, <laughs> there is always well, that. It's it's like you tell me, Matt, and you give great advice. You said there's only like a handful people to have access to most of the clones out there bro yeah so it's like it, are you really do you really got what you think you got or do you just get scammed you know what i mean like yeah uh, for, you know it's, it's math bro you probably got scammed <laughs> yeah there were a lot of people buying the jesel cut off of a an individual and um i got so many messages about that and it was it was a bummer because every single time i'd have to be like bro I hate to break it to you. And I was always the bearer of bad news, you know, so I don't like doing that. So don't be, don't be spending stupid money on clones. Go pop some seeds. Yeah. Uh, 
again, yeah. they're very rare clones. It's very rare a clone is like dog shit where everybody that smokes it kind of universally agrees they dig it. It's very, very rare. And that's why right. I, I could pull that out of the air because, I mean, even Jeezel, there's a lot of people who don't like Jeezel because it burns and it's a pain in the ass. So, you know, just because I like it don't mean you will. Right. Yeah. I mean, dude, just pop seeds. That's all it is. There you go. <laughs> anyway, and, and to put, you know, to put a, put a period on that there's so many good there's not so many i should say there's there's a, a solid core of people especially like in the discord that are making cool shit so it's like i don't know why not pop their stuff dude and they're working with a lot of the clones that people are hyped about anyway so it's like yeah fuck it i want to see some new cool shit anyways get them from someone vetted yeah to say the least. uh pox says uh also or he says what is the can illuminati anyway Oh for, shit! I guess for new people watching, they don't know what the they you they hear you saying can Illuminati be a part of it, sit at the table, and they don't even know what can Illuminati might be. Yeah, um, I, I I the only thing they need to know about the can Illuminati is that the Don is Denali. That's it. That's all That's they need to know. Yeah, it's like Fight Club, bro. Yeah, you know. Yeah. What is what what is Fight Club? I don't know. Yeah, uh, no clue. Never heard of it. He says, also says, I'm assuming he's talking to me, possibly you. He says, tell us how you feel about meeting your heroes. Yeah, it wouldn't be me. My heroes. Uh, well, you, you got to meet to, some. You got to go on one of the trips, the, the secret trips. I got, to go on ones I, secret, go on. I got to go on a secret trip. All my jelly little haters out there probably wish it was them, but it was me, and I'm sorry, so don't shed no tears for me. It'll be all right. I'll <laughs> pat you on the back and hold you real tight and kiss you on the forehead, tell you everything's going to be all right. No, uh, you know, I appreciate, uh, you know, through some, good, let's just say some good, good luck, I was able to get on one of the little can Illuminati trips, little secret meetups was super cool. Shout out to the people that got me on there. They know who they are. They're really the dudes that keep the Discord and the Breeder Syndicate together. And they invited me on this trip where I got to meet, I think it was like eight other dudes, seven. I can't count, bro. I was fucked, I was fucked up the whole trip. <laughs> But I can't share a lot, but I will say that uh, Rob Clark was there, the man, the legend. Uh, got to meet him, party out with him a little bit. Dude, he rocks out. He, he can party just like a young cat. That was cool. I mean, dude, just getting to spend time with people that have more experience than me, you know, and, and, and they, you know, I've been locked up the majority of my life. So it's like I can't call myself a real – grower or anything bro other than maybe a smuggler you know so smuggler, being around right. being around these guys was a dream come true and a little fanboyish maybe but hey i suck dick i don't care you know yeah, right fuck yeah i'm not afraid to admit it but anyways yeah it was awesome dude getting to try some good buds grown by the, the the hand that made the buds the genetics i mean it was awesome dude you couldn't ask for a better trip I mean, we got to fish. We got to smoke good, good buds. I got to try a bunch of hazes. I got to lay in bed for three fucking hours a night, wondering like where my life is at because I smoked too much band aid haze, and I'm like, <laughs> shit, everything's flashing. I can't get to sleep. Smoked some uh, 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 H and L's electric mango uh, haze or whatever, man. That uh, shit mm -hmm. had this same effect. Got me. <laughs> I had some rank stranger off camera right here. Matt seen it, so he knows I ain't yes. fucking lying. I yes. was gonna show it, but he says, you know, that's what gets these shows banned. So we we're on a yeah, tight, the mush pot. We're on a thin rope right now. Let's just say that we have a couple. Of, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Matt, then it's the ropes. Stuff. Yeah. We're on a thin rope. Rope. So if you want the show to continue, don't be asking for the menu. Anyways, but yeah, it was a great trip, bro. Got them. You know, felt super corny getting them uh, robbed to sign my my books, but I got him to sign my books. Yeah, that's Very corny. Cool. Pretty corny. corny. He gave us some sweet uh, artwork from uh, like labels from the LBs back in the day, dude. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, man, it was a great trip, dude. Once in a lifetime opportunity. It's great. Yeah, uh, meeting my heroes. I, I think um, I think in the weed world, it's been rather lackluster. Um, some people like High and Lonesome. First time I met him, I mean, he was already a good friend by that time, but um, getting to meet him was special. There, there are several people that have been quite quite amazing when you get to meet him and uh, not disappointments, but guys like DJ Short, 
um, he told me that I didn't even own my own company. He was like, oh, I think someone else owns your company. I'm pretty sure. And it was a nice dude that he was referring to, but I was like, no, that's, uh, that's, that's mine. Pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure I'm the only one that, um, <laughs> pretty sure I'm the only one that uh, owns this, a horrible company. So yeah, I don't think people would take credit for it, but yeah, you know, and trying to talk to him about his strains, it, it became evident that he wasn't, at least at that day, that time, he wasn't too into talking about anything having to do with his own strains. And I thought, you know, if someone knows your lines this well, you would see they put in the time and effort to ask good questions and you would respond. But yeah, no, he wasn't into it. Um, well, did that let you down people. at all, bro? Fuck yeah, it let me down. I was like, I, dude, I get to meet, talk to DJ Short, spend time. He's at my booth. And uh, yeah, no, it was it was absolutely horrible. I got to meet NCGA, um, North Tower Growers Association. He's a old school head from back in the day, and um, he was cool, really cool. Shared. He was the first person to share a booth space with me at Emerald Cup. So um, there are times when it's cool, and there are times when it really sucks. So maybe yeah. you don't want to say their name, but what what's what's one time maybe that you had an impression of somebody in the game? And it ended up being the complete opposite that you were like the coolest cat you ever met in life. Mm, the coolest cat I ever met. Um, okay, so CSI, right? The first time I met him in person, we had already been at kind of, I don't want to say at odds, but we didn't talk to each other. We weren't tight. That's for damn sure. And um, I did, my impression of him was that he was probably a conceited dick. And you know, it was too cool for school. So I walked up to him. I, he was at the booth next to me. And I walked up to him, just shook his hand, introduced myself, and left. And after that, we were best friends. It was, it was, uh, it was weird. Yeah. He ended up being the coolest guy on earth and not, not a conceited dick at all. Quite the opposite. That's that's really cool, bro. He seems yeah. really cool. Uh, I, I'll be honest. I, if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't even know about, like, the breeder syndicate for real. Because he, you know, I seen him on a panel, like, years ago and kind of when I got out of jail or whatever. And, and I just like, I'd been locked up for a minute or whatever, a little bit. And, uh, you know, I didn't, I hadn't really fu fucking looked at the internet for a while. So I got on YouTube and I was looking up weed stuff. Cause you know, trying to, trying to gain some knowledge in the game, trying to find, you know, shed the light on, on everybody. No, but yeah. I was trying to figure out what was going on. And I seen in my little podcast and, like for some reason when i clicked his video like the next time i got on youtube your fucking face was right there i said who's this <laughs> dick and i started watching you and that one guy which one uh, uh oh yeah, yeah 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 i'm not even 20 know years anymore. ago or whatever and uh <laughs> <laughs> no i just said who <laughs> uh no but but uh, yeah i mean dude just like That's getting out of jail and then seeing aspect. like <laughs> that's an aspect getting out of jail <laughs> seeing you guys fucking talking about shit that i grew up smoking and, and smuggling and dabbling and, and kims and sours and og typers and hazes i said Fuck, i think it's this bro i'm not good with mom these <laughs> headphones suck dick what did she get you what kind i don't even know bro she said she went to the dollar store and got some bullshit of course it ain't working right can y'all hear me okay yeah now we can hear you. The headphones suck. She right. don't ever listen. You need to get no, a better mom. Cool. Have you talked to any new women in your life? Any new women in your life? Bro, other than them, I mean, some girls, they try to holler at me all the time, bro. I'm a good I'm sure. guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, I mean, bro, they see the gold gym shirt on and shit. They know what it's game time. They know. I'm they have those game. in Michigan? Like where you're at? Bro, they got gold. I well, I used to live in California, bro. Like oh, okay. on base, like not on base, but like close to Camp Pendleton out there, bro. Like, like really out there. My my dad was in a Marine, and uh, he was out there, and he met my mom out there in the Navy, bro. At a vending machine. Yeah. And, yeah. It's, so I used to live out there, bro. I don't remember it, but I was out there until I was like three. Did your mom get along with the women in your life? Mm, not really, bro. I'll be honest. I with wouldn't you. think so. I wouldn't think so. I keep out on the DL, bro. Get beat, up, <laughs> get beat up around here. There's women run around. Anyways, but yeah. Uh, anyways, we we get off crazy topics here, bro. You want to rant? Well, this is a weed podcast. Yeah. But let's, let's reel her back in a little bit. Here. Yeah, let's reel it back in. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see, going through some of these questions here. Uh, guys, you putting on here some fucked up questions. I wish I could read these on on uh, the YouTube's. Uh, <laughs> do you think think weed will go legal next year, federally? Fuck no. <laughs> no yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I doubt it. It depends yeah. on who's president, and even then, I doubt it until they have it all lined up so they could take it from the mom and pops. That's yeah. how I feel. Yeah, they got to get both of them. Yeah, they got to get their money first, bro. Uh, let's see. How much dog? Guys, I can't even. Y'all are fucking with me right now. I can't read all these dumb questions on here. Y'all are trying to get us canceled. They're in here saying what? dirty stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, it says, uh, George Jetson says, untopped or topped plants. Preference for cropping versus breeding. Uh, the plant that got away. Oh, I guess that's one thing. Untopped or top plants preference for cropping versus breeding depends if it's a squat little afghan you don't top it um otherwise i mean for breeding you want to have as many sites as you can get so you can fill up uh all those nice little bracts with seeds yeah so it just depends uh and then the second part was the plant that got away Ooh, what? la Afi, the original still what la what the la Afi. it was an old uh, afghani one cut um from the LA Moon Posse tribe, which was like uh, electronic DJ crew. Um, they were always who was attributed with it. It came via them, but it was a uh, old Afghani number one, according to what they said. And it was just really dank. It was uh, almost like ammonia. So like when you smell it, it'd burn your nose hairs, you know? Um, yeah, it was one of my favorite. I'd like to see it. People still uh, pass around a Bubba cup that they call LA Afi now, but this was much different than that. That's cool, man. I guess, um, why are you, let's see, favorite blueberry IX cross from Happy Hill Grower? Oh, from uh, for, uh, the crosses? Yeah, I guess the one you recently dropped. Oh, no, you know what? There's one that I'm really looking forward to that Bitter just put out, and it's going to be probably in the in the Patreon Discord $50 tier packs when those go out next, probably two months, I think. Um, it's going to be the uh, Strawberry Cough Blue and Cross. Ooh, I'm, that's I'm cool. very looking forward to that one only because you know strawberry cough has a heavy berry nose to it too and uh different than blueberry uh different genetics in blueberry so i'm really excited about that gonna have some going myself soon but those are gonna be in the 50 tier for the people who are a part of that yeah and maybe if there's new people watching what's the 50 tier uh 50 tier that's when you're in the 50 dollars a month you get a pack a month for each month that you're a part of it and usually every three months we send out the packages since, yeah, it's expensive also, to send out fucking 50 plus packages a month. Yeah. Uh, and also exclusive drops and shit like that. Usually yeah. like if one of the breeders uh, in the discord, like Pac or H&L are working on stuff, sometimes they'll put their new stuff, you know, or whatever uh, yep. as well. And you get to see it before everyone else. The TGA stuff with CSI just uh, was dropped last time, last round. Well, or it's like with the competitions and shit that we're working on uh, with HL, the 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 ones that we've been doing. It's like he released the uh, awesome. K ninety one to the Mango Haze, and he, he said he's probably not ever going to even fucking drop it ever, bro. So it's yeah. like it's, it's just cool shit like that if you want to be in on the early stuff, I guess. Uh, let's see here. We got a couple of ones here from Biscuit Flipper. He says origin story slash background on the sharing cut of white widow maybe do you want me to keep reading the rest of it because he's got a bunch of stuff here he says I, I i read it was from lone star and it was and was wondering when it came about have a buddy who's trying to track it down and is wondering if it's the one he had up near dallas back in the mid 90s he might just pay 500 for the cut if so okay so first off i will say there's been some debate about Someone selling the cut. I won't say the the gentleman and gentlewoman's name, but be careful who you buy that shit from. There is one for sale that you can buy, and it looks like a fucking Bubba Kush cut. That's not fucking Sharon Widow. Sharon Widow is really fucking ugly, um, really, really hard to grow. You get the leaf curl. It's just never fucking happy. Big, huge colas. It's not a short, squat little Afghani. Not super frosty. Not really resinous. Um, came from Lone Star originally. And, you know, mid-2000s, early early to mid-2000s. 
out of Texas. I don't know what White Widow cut. What I don't think uh, Lone Star was passing that cut around openly. So I doubt it was just some cut someone got as White Widow in Texas. Very much doubt that. Um, right now, the only person I know with it for sure is Crazy Composer. Um, he's got great pictures of it up. So if you want to see the real Sharon Widow, go check out his Instagram. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I don't really know anybody passing it around or selling it. So don't go buying cuts of Sharon Widow unless you get it directly from Composer or someone like that. Kind of like we talked about earlier, bro. Yeah. And then you can fall back on the HLV stuff. You don't know what has what. Who's keeping their rooms like separated? Who can identify HLV in the first place? So, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, be careful, guys. Keep your sticks on the fucking ice, bro. Gosh. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. uh also, got it. This is from Chakra Zula, Zulu. Uh, also, when you guys speak on, I don't know why I said also, let's just put something further. Also, when you guys speak on the open pollinating, do you use one male or multiple ones? And if you use multiple, how do you go about moving forward or back crossing when you don't know who the daddy is? Also, speak on reversing of males to females. Okay, so open pollinating means you're taking every seed you have and getting every, so every male with every female. That's that's open and pollinating. Um, it's a good question. Like, uh, how do you know when what daddy was it? If you want to take it forward, you don't. You go by traits. Um, you won't know what daddy hit what. So it's not like saving clones of each one is advisable uh, of the males when you're doing an open pollination because you can't just think, oh fuck, that was that made some heat, you know, because you just won't know. Um, you could do an open pollination and then also take, be very careful with the pollen from each male and, uh, hit a clone of each female. If you want to go that way, that's also directional. Um, but yeah, if you want to work it forward, you just work it forward by traits. You don't work it forward by, um, what potential male hit, what potential female. It's all about trait work at that point. Um, what was the other question? Male, male reversals onto mm -hmm. females. Yeah. Um, yeah. So people people have this weird idea of reversals. Uh, males don't. If you reverse a male, it's not going to just turn into an all-out female like that. That's not really going to happen. That's not what it looks like. It looks like uh, um, a few bracts on a male, like female bracts on a male. Um, making seeds with it, it's a novel, fun idea. But like, there's I don't really know anybody who's ever found anything in a male reversal. Usually, you're doing that just to check out any traits, any any visual or scent traits from the male side. So when you run the progeny um, of anything from that plant uh, in a not reversed portion, you can see the traits come through and you'd be like, okay, this is from the male because I saw that in the turfs, but it doesn't always mean that those traits are going to pop up just because you can identify them or, uh, or you've witnessed them at one point. Cool. All right. Uh, we got another one from stone or stone farm. Excuse okay. Me. Oh man. The fucking pizza rolls. Mom made me killing me, bro. How can I really tell the difference between pistols browning due to pollination versus pistols browning? Sorry, I'm a new grower. If this is a dumb question. It's not a dumb question. Um, I mean, it's just all depends on timing, right? Like if it's a week after you've hit all the plants, then you hope that that's going to be from pollinating. But yeah, they pistols brown, they die off. They, they, they die off. And yeah, I think it's actually stigmas, not pistols. But um, yeah. I mean, that's, it's, it's that. And then, it, you know, if it's pollinated, you'll see the bracts slowly start to swell and then you'll know yeah. for sure. Yeah. I mean, you're not pollinating at the end of a, a, a plant's life cycle, right? When you're going to be seeing brown, browning hairs or whatever, anyways, you're, if you're going to be hitting something with pollen, you're usually doing it within, you know, a uh, week, anywhere from, depending on what you're growing, anywhere from like two to like week four, maybe even longer if you're fucking with other shit, hazes and longer flowering types. But I mean, you're not, there's some, majority of the time all the hairs are white so when you hit them usually within a couple of days depending some some take a week some some are two days you start seeing some kind of coloration or, or i'm dying back or whatever i guess yeah. I'm dying back a little bit but yeah it's it's you know but uh all right <laughs> yeah uh screws tim we can't answer or we can't we're trying to keep this a good show, bro. We're trying we're trying not to get banned here bro or whatever what did Dan I, ask I, I shouldn't ask I yeah, probably get yeah. this <laughs> <laughs> that's right guys drop some likes drop some supports we appreciate there you it go. yeah we're yeah. live 
ask questions yep. too. Yeah, ask questions if you want, you know, whatever. Ask Matt. You got Matt here. It's a rare opportunity. Also, while we're talking about these, some of these questions we have been asked before, and I know some people tuning in are big time fucking big wiener experts and they're thinking these are little newbie questions, but guys, we got new people coming in every day. We got to help them on their, on their journey. Right. So at the end of the day, I would recommend those new people go back and watch the old episodes. Cause you, you know, a lot of these questions are, are on the old episode. Guys. Just watch, watch them. It's good. Time. Here's a weird question. I've never heard this term. Have you used DLE design of experiments to choose your males? For example, have you had, you have five, females and two males you hit each male to complete set of females take serious pollen control yeah i don't play with that i don't play with multiple male unless i'm doing an open pollination and that's only then i don't use more than one male because yes to take serious pollen control and pollen contamination is it just doesn't take much so no i only do one male to to females only but then again like there's there's one thing that none of us ever really talk about and it is what happens when a plant herms in a room, in a room that you've, uh, you know, dusted with a male? That that's the question I got right. So, yeah. here, so you're a breeder, right? Mm -hmm. You got you're doing your little chuck or whatever reversal or whatever you're doing. You got a herm in there. You realize after you made all this seed at the end of the day, say you got a whole room full, right? Mm -hmm. You realize at the end of the day, as you're going through these buds and stuff, you're seeing maybe some little plant in the corner that you didn't notice and it, she hermed out and it's the pollen's mm -hmm. fertile, right? At this mm -hmm. point, you don't know what the fuck you got money invested in. I know a lot, most people are probably just going to send it. Right. But like, yeah. have you ever experienced where you had to throw it all away? I mean, maybe you're not throwing away. You're keeping it for yourself and running it and just checking and just see if you pick up traits, you know, I guess. And then at that point you just carry it further to work it or what would you do? What do you, how do you handle that kind of stuff? Um, you know, like I experienced that with the, the fucking Aussie bastard, that little some yeah, bitch yeah. snuck in and, it, and it's so obvious because those leaves are so obvious. And if it, it's in the first round, you know, it was from a, a herm essentially because it wouldn't show up if it was from the, uh, I, you know, I mean, it's only if, if it was a male. Um, right. yeah, those, I just kind of pretty much gave away or put on deep sale, like $20 a pack and let people know, Hey, there is pollen contamination. That's about all the best you can do with shit like that or, or toss it. One or the other. Um, I, I would imagine most people that make seeds would just send it out because, you know, you're going to get, unless it's a totally different line, it'll be super obvious, which I've seen many times. Um, one of those plants, like a Girl Scout cookies, will end up in a pollination of, you know, Bubba crossed OG or you know, that's kind of bad. Um, like Bubba and Blueberry. And all of a sudden you see some Girl Scout cookies popping up. You know, someone had a Girl Scout cookies Herman there and just let it go, you know. Right. But um, yeah. Ideally, you'd hope they wouldn't and that they would make it known, but that's not always what we see. Right. Yeah. I mean, it goes both ways, I guess. I guess from a new uh, breeder's perspective, uh, you know, trying to get into the game or whatever you want to call it, the industry, you know, if you, it is your, ideally you've kind of built up to this point, but my, I was just thinking, yeah, like what if you are new and you are trying to get into it and you do have a, a fuck up, how do you handle that? You know, I guess maybe like you said, it's, be transparent as possible and let people transparent. let them fucking know what's up. Because some of us are going to see that shit and we're going to know. We're going to go, <laughs> we know what that shit is. You know, bro, I, I come from the game. I'm just trying to figure out <laughs> how it works. No, uh, I'm smoking. Dude, I got some of this Irene S1 from uh, CSI, bro. I'm smoking. It's fucking nice, bro. It's not like the craziest potency in the world or nothing, but the turds yeah. and everything are on point, bro. Irene's nice. It's a, it's it's a nice. very nice cut. Great, Great high. I like it. Uh, another old SDS? part. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He says, uh, "Is SDS or colloidal silver better for creating reversals?" I don't use colloidal silver. That's an old technique. Um, I don't know anybody who uses it effectively for. Um, yeah, I just don't know anybody who uses colloidal silver anymore. It was an old technique on the forums. People would talk about mostly um, there's been science papers where they use STS and put it against colloidal silver. It's found to not be as effective. And so we just went straight for STS with my spray, which you can find on sale right now on riotseats.com. I was going to plug it. Boom. Me, bro. Boom. You see that? Yeah. That's good, bro. Yep. Um, 
there, I'm assuming there's other stuff people have used in, in the past too, and, and maybe even currently uh, to, to maybe cause the, the reverse reversal. Is there anything else you could kind of talk yeah, about? Um, 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 cobalt chloride is another one um, that's been used by Hyde. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that's a secret. I don't fucking know. Um, yeah, cobalt chloride or do, using just silver without the thi without the thiosulfate. Uh, thiosulfate helps a lot with um, what's it called? Light toxicity. I'll just say that because I'm not going to fucking use a big word right here. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, but cobalt chloride's another good one. Hell yeah. It'll burn the uh, fuck out your plants though. So if you yeah. need a plant, there's some plants like like TK that you almost have to kill to reverse to get it to drop pollen. Um, whereas a lot of other plants, you want them at peak health and don't want them to be burned. So yeah, this isn't chlorine. Yeah, no, it's, it was cobalt green, cobalt green. If I remember correctly, that's what we ended up uh, running with. But yeah, cool. cobalt chloride is another one that you can use. I just buy my mat rice spray and I'm done, dude. Done, done. Yeah, done. Farmer Dan's got a spray too. Farmer Dan's got a spray to too. That, yeah, I was say, and Farmer Dan too. Shout out Farmer Hence Dan. We'll get him selling it. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, that's cool, man. Uh, we'll move on to Ari Dragon. He says, or they say, she says, whatever. Thems, maybe? I don't know. Thems. They Hell. Uh, did you ever get any of those Alaskan blueberry rob mentioned in the video? And if so, are you planning on breeding with them? I didn't. Um, I don't know that Rob still has access to that. But we have, um, there's another cut that's made it back in the circle. That's the Dabney blueberry that I really want to work with again. Cool. Hey, do, you, do you ever sit on the shitter, bro? And you're just sitting there thinking, I know you, you've been talking about moving on from maybe a blueberry lines and stuff mm -hmm. a little bit, but do you ever sit on the shitter or, and you're thinking like, what if there is one more out there that I didn't, I didn't get to try or one more out there. Maybe I could constantly, 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 dude, constantly. Hey, I mean, that's cool, dude. I, I, I appreciate that you're so into blueberry lines that we have to have somebody that is, you know what I'm saying? Because if yeah, it wasn't, I mean, like, you got to carry the torch, bro. I think it's cool. DJ Short, you know, kind of, uh, he brought the, the blueberry to the table, I think. There might have been other blueberries before him, right? Um, but there, for a lot of people, including myself, there was a lot of disappointment in buying a really expensive pack of seeds called blueberry to not find one thing that was blueberry like right. turp, turp wise or taste um yeah i mean you know like I, I think most people have that experience um but then there was some great bc blueberries um from the bc era guys uh working with blue um mm, yeah i don't know i mean i've crossed it to a lot of stuff but like i could always run more of each of the things that i've crossed it to and there's a few more that i'd like to go through i just found another pack of poodle nuts today which is okay. i thought i had given the very last of those to um um, little hill and he popped him and he was stoked on it and i was like oh shit that does look amazing he's like yeah this is the best of the poodle nuts but i didn't save any cuts so now i'm like oh fuck but i did find i found the very last pack so i'm like i think it's the last pack who fucking knows but yeah. um yeah <laughs> you got like that's how i am dude i found like random packs just like that i thought i didn't have any more of or or whatever i i dude something i wanted to before i forget i'm fucking scatterbrain right now bro uh Something that's cool we were talking about earlier about clones and shit, and it made me think, like, why the fuck would I, certain stuff especially, uh, you know, trying your IX out, it made me realize, like, man, I don't need no cut of this when I could just have it in a regular form, bro, a regular yeah. seed form. It's so cool. Like, that, the, I only popped the one pack, and every female that I, I got was some form of blue or blueberry or, or blueberry jam or blueberry candy or, or some yeah. kind of mix of that, and... uh like like I said the other day, going like two months in, bro, and it still smells just like the blueberry, bro. It smells great. I got them in the jar right here, bro. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the idea with the, the in-cross line was consistency. Yeah. Um, to have consistency in a, in a seed pop. Like, ideally, I think uh, even as new seed buyers, we think, you know, we're going to go buy a pack of seeds. It says it's like this specific thing. They always say, oh, yeah, it's exactly like this. We pop those seeds and we don't get that. I mean, that's pretty much, right. what, you know, I mean, uh, and yeah, like that as a seed buyer from when I started to now, the goal has always been consistency, being able to say it's like this high is going to be like this for me. I don't know if it'd be like that for everyone else, but the Terps are like X, Y, Z, you know, it looks like X, Y, Z. 
and uh, being able to provide that was uh, very important. So yeah, yeah, that was the most important thing I could have uh, done in my career was make something consistent. I did yeah. several years. They really are too, even the way they grow. And I had a question for you about them, bro. Yeah. Did they? Did you ever? At one point, I mean, you're you're breeding them for consistency, right? And a lot of these. A lot of them you're working with are shorter plants, but did you ever see a tall blueberry IX or any kind of blueberry that will run a little bit taller? Because like all the ones I had, no. they perform like what they're supposed to, you know, short and more of a yeah. squat plant. They're, sh- they're squat Afghani dominant types for the most part, yeah. Yeah. And, and the, the turf profile was stuck in that. Like you would, you really weren't finding that turf profile, at least in, in the in cross lines and, and the bonnet. You weren't finding any of these broadleaf types or um, narrow leaf types, shooting out huge blueberry turps. You know, I, I did make one cross with the blue satellite that kind of took it in that direction, more narrow leaf, bigger cola, taller, lengthier. But um, for the most part, yeah, it's 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 kept in the Afghani. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool, bro. I really enjoy growing them, man. They're easy to grow, pretty quick flower, everything, man. Uh, I got I made seeds with them. I want to run some and find, you know, a better expression, bro. That's the main and, thing. And you're bringing out the blue when you when you outcross it because it's a true be- a true breeding line, in that yep. sense. So yeah, that's fucking awesome. More, more, more. Have you have you figured out where you're going? I know I ask you this every week, bro. But have you figured <laughs> out what direction you're gonna go next? I, I, I'm biting it a bit to know, bro. I mean, you know, like I wanted to do more diesel work, right? But me and CSI did some of that in fem lines and he he crossed it to more shit than i could have ever imagined right. um the strawberry stuff i got rid of most of my strawberry stuff so trying to go back and rework my strawberry stuff i don't have much of the strawberry stuff anymore and i've kind of passed it on um the p91 stuff i passed on to other people who are doing work with the p91 stuff now it's and people seem to dig it and that's rad but um yeah, I don't quite know what I would do next. Like, I really need to sit down with my big fucking bag of collection stuff. And, like, the only thing that really appeals to me, like, there's the Maduro, which was an Oregon purple tie line, which is just more blueberry parentage <laughs> kind of. Um, shit, I don't, I don't really know. I don't want to do more sour. I don't want to do more super skunk stuff because I think I've done all I can do with super skunk. Um it's hard to say. I've got to do fem work though, because that's all that sells anymore. So yeah. So, I mean, going back and being redundant on blueberry and, and doing like a feminized blue ink cross. Now that, that would bring out so many recessives and mutants that I'm not sure that's even a good idea. Like it, in theory, it sounds great, but yeah, I, I don't know how it would uh, present. Speaking on that Maduro, I ran those. Uh, I think it was, I always forget the name, bro. It's fucking, was it? Black cherry, uh, black yes. cherry, black cherry Maduro, white rhino. To yeah. The, anyways, I ran those out. I just called it the Maduro just because it was easy. I hate. I fucking can barely read and write, bro. I, I you know. Anyways, I, I yeah. Ended up with two females out of like the six seeds of the real old seeds you sent out with the Patreon shit. I popped them, bro. I uh, got two females out of them. Uh, the one was just a little. I don't know. She just was kind of didn't really. I ended up chopping her, so I ran the one. And when I first tried it, dude, I was like, this is all right, bro. And it's that classic case of like, I let it cure for like a month and I had smoked other shit. I was smoking the skank dog and all the other stuff. And I go back and smoke it, bro. And it was fucking pretty nice, dude. Like, yeah, I can't, at the end of the day, I threw it away. So it sucks, but I ended up growing them out, dude. And they were nice, but I didn't get a mail. So I was just like, fuck, I, I just ended up chucking it, bro. Um, there was a lot in that parentage of those seeds, which is the only reason I never ran them. Like, I want to just find the Maduro stuff like that. That was already a special line. Now the, the Maduro stuff, if I remember came from the same dudes that the, the Rose flow came from. And um, yeah, is it alkaline man or elevator man. I don't know. One of the two, I don't know. I always get the two confused, but yeah, yeah it's interesting shit. Uh, Rose flow is one of the hardest grows I've ever had in a plant. It was never fucking happy and it wasn't a good line in itself, but when you outcrossed it, it made amazing uh, F ones. Yeah. That's that's the thing I'm learning, bro. Out of getting out of jail and shit, like fucking all these new lines and shit, man. You don't you realize like not all lines are the same, bro. Like some shit or not all everything. Some shit fucking grow great for you in one way, and you put something else in there same way. Don't grow with the fuck, man. Shit. 
my mom grows better than I do, I think, sometimes, dude. She up here. Yeah. There's a, here's an Instagram comment. I think what is better is to breed with official pollen from plants. It's a good, it's good point. Pollen. Official pollen from plants. What's official? I'm trying to... <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> it, whatever it is, I want to be a part of that shit. Part of that shit. shit. Fucking paid, dude. Yeah. Let's get money, it's bro. Official. <laughs> official. It's given 20 here. I'm official. <laughs> uh. Oh, my bad. I forgot we're doing a QA again, bro. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Uh, our herbs as D says, uh, is P. Hayes going to take over the world? P. Hayes Con coming soon. I, you know, I don't know. I mean, people see people seem to like P91 now. Um, there, I didn't make a ton of the S1s. There's still a few left that uh, some people have gotten a hold of. But um, Bitter did a bittersweet did amazing work to to pull out the best, the be better than what I saw just in the S1s. Um, he found some really really cool expressions and made what we call the sweet pea. And other people have used seeds from the sweet pea and crossed it to, like a little loaf crossed it to. Bandit haze, I want to say, to make the pea haze. Bandit haze number seven. Yeah. So yeah, that's gonna be out there. That's cool. Um, yeah. I got a ten in it, but right here I will show y'all, but we'll get banned, bro. Yeah, we get banned again. Yeah, I got some of that going right now. Uh, I don't know, like not. Uh, anyways, it's going. <laughs> <laughs> it's going. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, when the, the P91 first came out, nobody gave a shit about P91 except San Diego people. And there was a few of them. And Bitter was one. So, I shout out Bitter. Say, I got to say, anything that I've smoked that has the P in it, bro, is, is good, bro. Like, you know how we were talking about last episode where we're, I mean, we're off some tangent on autos versus uh, traditional stuff. But we're talking about how, you know, you, you grow out a pack and maybe like one – you're not really doing yourself justice growing out one pack if you're really trying to fuck with that plant. Yeah. Find something good. But the, you know, uh, shit, bro. The Irene hit me, man. I don't forget what I was. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> I, I was going to say, I'm fucking with my, just blanked out, bro. But, uh, you know, anything with the P in it that you run that I ran crosswise or it's been crossed into it, bro, every pack that, every plant in there is pretty good. Of some, you know, it might be not, maybe one don't have a struck the right structure or whatever. But the yeah. actual smoke, the flavor, the turps, anything with pee I've smoked uh, comes out pretty good, bro. Like, legit. I don't know. Yeah. Cool. I think There's it's the name, bro. It's the name. It, it's the name. It, it's pee. Like, I mean, I think it's at the end of the day, like, we like it. And it's it's in our group, it's cool. But, like, to, like, random people, it, it's, you know, maybe I think it just comes down to probably the name, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Gregor Smith asked, did I grow up in Nordal? If so, how was it? Yes. Um, I had some herm issues early on with the Nordal, but it's one I'd like to go back and touch on. It, it's one of the few um, Afghanis that Shanti Baba put out that I would mess with, um, at least that I would try to grow now. Um, a lot of the Afghanis from him I did not like. But at the same time, he has some of the best uh, narrow leaf type plants, like the, the mango haze, you know, um, super silver haze. Uh, there's more, you know. You know, you know what he has. Yeah. See, I'm looking here through some more questions. Uh, Shy Guy says, how do you choose which plant to reverse in a feminized cross? Whatever one reverses easier and more consistently. Yeah. That's how. Yeah. Stagger, guys. Stagger your fucking plants. Don't be in there yodeling it with one thinking you'll make it. Yeah. Like, God, dude. Put <laughs> Stagger. It's it, yeah, anyways. Go watch the old episodes. Breeding. There's you talk about this, guys. Come on. Come on. Uh <clears throat> sorry, some people putting joke questions in here, so I got to scheme. Joke like we're funny. Yeah, like we're funny. Just like shit. playing like this is a game or something like that. Yeah, like this is whatever. a big joke. Like, ha -ha. Let's see. Uh PK asked, where uh will Thousand Fold be joining tonight? Obviously not. Uh, no, he's too too cool for us right now. But he will be back eventually. He's coming yeah. back, guys. Don't you he's worry. got actual work to do. He doesn't want to play while he's working. We're so. bums, you know. I yeah. I can't I, I can't hold a job. I can't even apply for a job. I don't have an ID. I can't do shit. So I just sit around with moms all day, kick you know, kicking it, whatever. Yeah, Papa's yeah, shit like that. Watching prices right and shit. Yeah, 
Yep. I, when she's not around, I get on like porn and stuff. But it's yeah. Cool. See. Uh, I think we ran through most of these questions here. Oh, we got. There you go. Got a couple more here. If you, uh, as Sean says, if you could go back to one line you made and start a new project from it, what would it be? The strawberry switchblade. That would be it. It was a. I, you know what? To be honest, I can't even remember what was in that son of a bitch. It was the East Coast Sour Diesel Strawberry Cream, and I think it was the Double Black Doja, which was also a polyhybrid. But it just made for this really uh, magenta-looking, very strawberry-scented Afghani-type plant. It was gorgeous, consistent, and uh, super strawberry. Yeah, that would probably be one for sure. I don't know. I had a this. This goes to Jab's question. Was my favorite Bubba hybrid I've ever smoked. There was a um, a Bubba hybrid with Killer Queen, like the original BCGA Killer Queen seeds that I popped. That one was fire. That was fire. I like that one a lot. Cool. Surfer Boy Forty Seven says, "Can you tell us about dog shit? Also, what sour was used with Gisel in your and CSI's collab? I'm growing the dog shit." Uh, time, uh, X time sour X man, they are beautiful plants. Cheers, man. Sorry, I can't fucking read y'all. Yeah, <laughs> um, dog shit. Like I've only run it a few times, so I don't really, I wouldn't really speak on it like well. You know, I don't know what it is. I don't know the history on it. There's other people who know that it was, you know, some glass blowers from somewhere doing something, bringing it around to somewhere. Um, as far as the sour, that was the sour that came from Muir, um, who was on another episode. You can go back and check it out. Um, as far as, I mean, I don't know the history on it. Like, he has, he has he had it a long time ago. Yeah. And can we pull the dog shit name, Electric Boogaloo? You know, only because it would annoy the shit out of someone that I don't like, I'm going to keep calling it dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just because of that. Right. I got Matt. I got a little beef with you, bro. Oh yeah, that, that's last right. episode, my mom was well, me and mom were kicking in, and when you hit me up earlier, like asking if I could, you know, jump on this podcast, real whatever, real quick. I was like, yeah, that's cool. But I was talking to mom about. I was like, man, my mom, like, real excited. Like, you get me back on. He's getting Matt's t- good guy. He's finally coming through for me. And she's like, yeah, but did you see last episode on the fucking video thing? He spelled kim dog with the fucking w bro and i was like no i didn't so i get on there and looking at it and i'm thinking mm-hmm. matt's fucking ass over here trying to play me or so i just want him to get it clear to all y'all out there that i don't spell no fucking kim dogs no goddamn w's i do fix ac units part-time i don't do it because i need to do the money or nothing like that i do it because i like to fix ac units and shit i couldn't i couldn't make money from the game and shit but i really care about the it home tent growers you guys you know what I'm he saying? does he does care. Gotta save our five acre farm that we call a farm that is actually not a farm but we're, for our kids <laughs> shit like this you know the industry genomic projects and stuff like that uh, uh yeah. anyways uh um, i will say that the first person to spell it d-a-w-g is p bud who was one of the people he was a you know a golf jockey or something i don't know what the fuck he was but he was one of the people that was there when Joe Brand sold the pounds or weight. I don't know. Ounces. I don't know what the fuck he sold. He sold something and he spelled it D-A-W-G. So as far as I'm concerned, Kim Dog is spelled Kim D-A-W-G Dog. That's, that's pussy. I don't know. That's I don't fuck with that shit. I don't know. It should have a Z at the end if I if I had my say. I this Me and you after this podcast, we're going to get it straight. Bro. We're going to figure it out. But uh, – do you he's not your daddy, trust me, he's not your homie, bro. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> C- C- CK6 says, do you plan to remake any blue crosses with the IX instead of the blue bonnet? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. Uh, and do you have any tips for getting the best flavor and smells from the blue crosses? Um, Yeah, I mean, make sure you cure it. Other than that, you'll get it. Throw it right. Um, what the fuck is? Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I just, I'm just enjoying the guy with the facts. <laughs> he thinks he knows some shit. Um, yeah. Uh, the blue in cross. I would like to eventually. 
I mean, it's I still have more of the original bonnet seats to pop though and go through. So that always interests me. Um, yeah. That's cool, man. Uh, and then his other question was, oh, you answered both of them. My bad. Yeah, I mean, just slow down the cure, bro. I mean, as far as like bringing yeah. out the blue turps, I mean, you see the blue turps even on crosses. I mean, I think was it the, I mean, of course, it's called the blue hype. The great blue hype had it in there. And you see mm -hmm. now after growing uh, the IX, you can find really great blue turps in almost any of Matt's work that has, you know, that has the bonnet in it. It's not too far off from the IX. No. I mean, no. It's fucking pretty spot on, dude. Like, y'all yeah. did, did a great job doing it, bro. That's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, psh, psh, psh. I think we, we kind of ran through all of our questions, guys. All of them? All of them done? Are we done? I think so. Is this fucking shit around? Let me double check. I want to make sure we we're sharing everybody's questions and showing love to everybody. Oh, uh, we got yeah. one more. Good. Uh, one a fresh one. Heirloom Afghani remake. Feminized Afghanis? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like it had its long round and then people got mad because it I didn't make a lot of them and I sold them for a lot because everybody wanted them. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe. I have some left. Could could do. Could do. I really like the, um, I don't know, the crosses with it that I liked. But yeah, no, I mean, it's just uh, an old super skunk type. So I think there's even better super skunks than that. Um, it was skunky. It was nice. But yeah, it was also highly variant, which which isn't something I love. I think that's my biggest um, my biggest annoyance is variance in, in lines, uh, poly hybrids. Yep. I got a – remember the Afghan 90s we talked about? Yeah. I got some of those going, dude. And uh, a couple of man, when you rub the stems, dude, I know it's not always a tell sign of everything, but mm -hmm. they have this really like kind of similar to the IX in a bit, but a little different, more of a sharp sharpness to the nose on it. But that's just real like two of them had this like almost like blueberry kind of berry smell. It's really interesting, actually. I haven't, yeah. I haven't started flowering them or nothing yet, but. They're really interesting. If I remember correctly, it was a positronic <laughs> Afghan in those. And then they had, um, you can go to the Real Seed Co. if you want to check those out, Real Seed Company. Um, Quick Seeds, K W I K Seeds.com. The homie Angus runs it. There's some amazing, amazing stuff on the Real Seed Company. A lot of you that want to find good land races, um, the dude's been in the game forever. He has good sourcing on his shit. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, I was going to say something else about him or about, about them. It is in the EU, bro. It's, you got to make sure I, some, when I ordered them, bro, it like, I think it was more than what I thought it was going to be. Cause the, the transfer or whatever, the money, bro, I'm so fucked up, right? I can't even talk. About <laughs> I've been drinking beer. I've been, weed, you know, uh, but no, uh, anyways, yeah, where's well, basically it guys. Any more questions? Throw them in chat real quick. If not, yeah, we'll give them a few minutes for it. Someone asked uh, if I smoke skunk six. No, I don't know anybody who's uh, currently smoking skunk six. That's been dead for a long time. It's the same cut as the VA super skunk that came out of VA, which was from the breeder, from the breeder's mouth. What was it? NL5 Haze um, super skunk F2 selection. So, yeah, that's been dead a long time. So, I don't know what the fuck JJ's yapping about fucking skunk six he he didn't have skunk six either so what the fuck he's talking about he but then again someone hands him a clone named skunk six he's always said i'll yeah i i keep the name whatever someone gave it to me as and then he'll sell the seeds of it so gotta love that that hard work and integrity so do you at least he says it publicly though that he doesn't give a fuck you know yeah here's a question uh no no where is it where is it i just saw it there we go I'm about to reach out to you on Discord about my question of last week's show about Sub Rob Madalitsa ring. Reach out. Reach out right Reach now. Out. What are you trying to ask, bro? I'm smoking skank dog right now. Yep. He got some skank dog uh, love. I mean, if you, dude, honestly, out of what I've grown in the last few months, it's probably my favorite thing so far. I, got, I mean, skank just that, pretty good. The particular one. I mean, uh, I mean, my, the, they all kind of smell similar, the, the ones I ran. The one that I really like 
if you really that care that much, there's some pictures, I think, somewhere in the Discord. Just look up Skank Dog. Uh, but uh, it's just kind of a rancid, like, coffee smell. That it's, uh, yeah, coffee, skunky. Like, not really, like, spearmint, but, like, a slight little bit of that that kind of mint, mint tinge to it. And, yeah, just, like, a bitter smell to it, bro. I don't know how to explain it. It's just really pungent like really nice on the and that's what you taste too that's what i like about it you taste that and you know how sometimes you put weed in a you know, blunt or a joint or a bong whatever and it doesn't taste like what you're smelling bro that, that's what i like about this is it tastes i taste what i smell and I, I don't know. Fucking good. Um, yeah for, Go for people asking about skunk six it was some people in colorado had it as skunk six it was passed around as skunk six back then it is dead so if people are trying to sell seeds of it, they're selling you a fucking a myth and a dream. <laughs> it's been the people have been doing that with fucking super mass mass super skunk that wasn't mass super skunk for ever since I've been around, and no one's produced it. The VA super skunk, we know what it looks like. Um, the closest thing that was used with it would be sour. You know, sour was used with it, and that's where you're going to see the progeny of any skunk six or. Uh, VA Super Skunk, aka Mass Super Skunk number one. And since it was the first one that they renamed to Mass Super Skunk, and later they popped Sensi Super Skunk Seeds, called that Mass Super Skunk two, because why not? Um, yeah, they didn't call it number two, they just called it Mass Super Skunk as well, because that's how them Kim Doggers do, right? Hey, Kim <laughs> Dog, I do Kim it for Dog. Dog, and that's it, mother liquor. No, uh, <laughs> no mother I, I like liquor. It. was that some old Greg? Oh, Greg, uh, I got those <laughs> shiny bits down below. No. Uh, Downstairs so, mix-up. You know, I think I've been thinking about just why I'm taking shits and stuff, dude. You mm -hmm. got to drop some stuff, maybe like modern shit ain't from Matt Wright. Modern stuff ain't for a lot of people. I get it. But there's got to be something out there we could, we could, you can make a cross of, bro, that gets more, because I think we need younger people in the space, bro. We need not younger people to lead us, but we need the next generation, bro. We're dying out. You yes. know, whether we like it or not, we're dying out, bro. There are not many of us left. You know, people talking about cuts. There ain't even people that really got the cuts. When them fuckers are gone, then where are we going to be? And this is going to be Mylar, cookies, all that dumb shit. You know, we got to get the people hyped, bro. You know? Yeah. Positivity, guys. Love is love. Love is love. There's a, you know, there's only a few uh, younger cats that I've I've met that I'm like, okay, this dude could carry some shit. You know, like they care enough and uh, to get it right because, I mean, once once a few of us are gone and you know, yeah. it's gonna be nobody's really gonna give a fuck about what's what, who had what, all well, that shit's just gonna be drowned. Yeah. Well, even if you don't give a fuck about Matt or or Blueberry, like yeah, the fact no. is that. No, I mean, hold on, God damn it. The fact is, you're a keystone, a corner piece of our community and the broader community in a lot of ways, I think, bro. You brought so much. If anything, you bring everybody together and you give us, you know, like D and a couple other guys, y'all bring us together. And I think if we could just stop arguing about how important your color of your fucking ash is, bro, and focus on these <laughs> important <laughs> topics or whether I'm yes. smoking one or smoking weed out of your fucking butthole glass style uh let's you know we need to focus on the bigger issues bro yeah yeah i, I don't know i think uh, that butthole glass style might be painful back, back to my question what are we what are we working <laughs> with in the future we got to get something you got to come up with something man we got to get these people do i got to come up with something that, that i'm going to work with do i have to work mm -hmm. with anything do i just quit start growing audio done Auto flowers. Yeah. There you go. Game over. That's the ultimate. Yeah. Matt, if Matt starts throwing auto flowers, y'all know it's game over. Yeah. That's it. I'm if I do it again, if I do it again for a second time, yes, I have done it. You made them great the first time. You could come back and make them great again. Make great. them great again. White People Widow. Don't know, People don't know. Auto that flowers. Matt was on that auto flower shit way before. <laughs> Tell them. Yeah. And everybody oh. said, what are you doing with that shit? I got I got one. Here you go. Uh, okay. Where is it at? It was on here. HNL asked it. Uh, did Matt smoke all the autoflower I gave him? 
You know, I'll have to look. I don't think I smoked all of it. I didn't smoke all of it. It wasn't the worst smoke I've had, though. It was it was a tricker. He sent me a tricker. He didn't tell me what it was and said smoke it. So I did because it's H&L. And it was, it was a tricker. It wasn't terrible. I mean, it had a high to it, which is more than I expect from fucking auto flower and people that call fucking normal plants photo period. God damn it. Well, I'm here to shed the light on the game. And <laughs> I'm going to say this. When I went to that meetup, I just said move, bro. So all the all my stash, I lived in a, let's just say I lived in a place where, well, I just didn't want to carry all the shit across lines, uh, state border lines or whatever, bro, because some of these states had crazy penalties. So I gave all my, my stashes away. So for like a few months, I was smoking wreck weed up here like a little weirdo feeling like depressed. I couldn't even look myself in the mirror and make love to my fucking wife, dude. But my point is... You got a wife? What? I got, I got a few wife. I'm a polygamist. Okay, that's what I thought. That's weird. Okay. Yeah. I'm out here doing it big, you know? I'm trying to... Yeah. Anyways, uh, man, you got me off topic talking about random shit, bro. I've been smoking. <laughs> what was I talking about? I couldn't tell you. I don't know where that was going. I don't know. We got a question. Yeah, here it is. Gang of Greenhorns, he says, I have a question. I'm interested in preserving Big Bang slash making a strain out of it. I have a Big Bang times diesel as an S1 clone. What would you use to breed it back to Big Bang? And then it's got skunk number one, LL1, NL1, L, and then El Nino. There is never a day I would try to preserve a greenhouse seed strain. You don't believe in Arian? <laughs> what? Arian? Arian? <laughs> no, I don't mean to be a dick, but yeah, no, for me and my, for my liking, there's nothing I would buy from Greenhouse Seeds because they sold many things as Big Bang. So what you're getting, it's not necessarily Skunk 1, NL1, and El Nino. Um, it may have been Skunk 1, NL1, Hayes. It could have been any number of things that was sold as Big Bang because they would buy from places like Buddha seeds, not big Buddha seeds, Buddha seeds, Spain and buy bulk and use that for whatever lines they had and just be like, these dipshits won't know. <laughs> so there's no point in um, preserving stuff that you don't know what it is, unless you really, really like it for yourself. But as far as preserving a strain for like the future, that's one of those, those tough ones. Um, it's a tough one. Yeah. I mean, if you it comes back to if you like it, keep it. Yeah, yeah. Um, as far as preserving it for the future, you'd be preserving something that we just don't know what it is. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the thing when you're working with with any of this shit, lines or whatever, or you're making seeds or whatever. Like, if you don't know what the fuck it is, like, I don't even want to work with it, bro. Just because it's, I mean, it is. You don't know. You're shooting yourself in the foot from the get go in a way, or it feels like at least, you know, as far as starting some kind of breeding project. Yeah, I mean, and not to even just say that it's greenhouse, even though they're horrible um, at doing this. You know, Barney's Farm, Nirvana. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Every one of them all did it. You got to be careful what we say. I forget. We'll, we'll get knocked off of fucking YouTube. I know, right? <laughs> Dude, I know who is doing the breeding. There's no one doing breeding compound genetics. He's buying seeds from other white label seed makers. I know some of the people he buys them from. Uh, early on, I'll even put this up on the fucking screen. Early on, um, my buddy Y Yeast was making the seeds for him until he stole from Y Yeast. We're talking about Chris Compound, aka Tiger Trees. Um, yeah, that schmuck doesn't know shit about shit. Go listen to his podcast and you'll see it for yourself. Like that's what I, he does. I, I hate to burst people's bubbles out there, but making seeds is easy, guys. I've done it. I did it from yeah. jail. <laughs> I did it in the fucking bathroom from jail, dude. For real. Pink yeah, for real. In he smuggled pink to send me shit into in there. My, my, one of my Kim 15, like he made some crosses with that shit. And dude, it's easy, bro. Anybody can do it. Yeah. yeah. Let's go buy some seeds, put them in a mylar bag and sell them. That's the model. I'm surprised, I'm surprised more people don't talk about compound in the scams. It's just because like, what if they're scared of getting sued or they're definitely not scared of him if they've ever met him. So yeah. I don't know, bro. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Some of them dudes are so out of my fucking spectrum of like, what I should have never about. known this shit. I, I was in, in Michigan. We got someone was going to hire us to work with them, both of us. And this is when Y East was still a part of it. 
and I got to spend a weekend and then later on another weekend with uh, those guys. And I really like Y East. I have nothing bad to say about him at all. He's a great guy. Um, he did good work with Compound when he was doing it. Uh, he has Y East Farms now. Go check that out. Um, but yeah, Chris Compound's a dipshit. <laughs> I'll happily say that publicly over and over and over. Matt dunking on him, the game. All right, guys. If anybody, you got anything else for him, Matt? Um, I don't know. You want to do the outro? Yeah, we can. We get that shit. You pulled it off once. Are you two stone? No, I got it. Okay. Guys, gals, there comes a life. Wait, guys, gals, there comes a time in everyone's life when you have to make a decision. Are you going to vote with your dollar and buy the right genetics for your garden? Are you going to make a mistake and spend two hundred dollars on a fucking dream you've been sold? Hell no. With my help, with your help, with Matt's help, with the Breeder Syndicate help, join the Discord. It is a Discord. It's a great place. It's a community. Don't forget, we got right. So as little as five dollars a month. Five dollars a month. That's like a coffee nowadays. In less than country. a coffee at Starbucks. You, dude, you can't even buy a fucking pack of gum for that. So, <laughs> great info. Years of information strain talking about strains all the stuff the community we're you know all that fun stuff guys don't forget you can go to riotseeds.com and pick up all the latest genetics greatest shit from matt h and l pock and the crew there's all it's kinds good. of shit up there stuff we talked about today's up there new stuff from jill i got the new stuff from jill added i got some of i i just realized i'd never put up the santa cruz wreck from pack so those are up right now too we have the raffle going on right now in the discord that's going on waffle yep. whatever we call it um there you so, go there's that too we, well we got of course you like you said miss jills we got yep. don't forget to go check out all the other guys' websites i can't remember them all lftdgenetics.com go check out uh Kronzo's, i always forget his picklick.com i don't know dude all that <laughs> go check it all out it is like yeah. literally a pick a lick Dot com, I think I can't spell it. A P I C leg L E G dot com. That, that's it. But yeah. And then we got Gert by Seeds. And we also yes. got right EU. Shout out Gold yep. Cut. We got all the Gold guys. Cut. We got them all. They're in the Discord. You can fucking talk to these guys. You can almost suck their cocks. You can almost. <laughs> Some of you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's about it, guys. Yeah, um, yeah, go check it out. That's it, I guess. I don't know. Shout out to our moderators. Thanks for helping. And uh, go hit like, subscribe, all that shit. And uh, with that, I guess we'll see you next week, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it hey, rolls. Of, what do you got planned? You got to do them back to regular interviews? I know people might be getting a little tired of fucking around with me. So Yeah, I don't know. I need to. Um, there's a few people I need to reach out to. I've just been cleaning up the house after a hurricane hit. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> sometimes personal life, you got to do your shit, bro. You know, got to do your shit. Got to handle business with stupid asses. So, yeah. I got to go talk to mom about this fucking headphone shit making me look dumb. I'm trying to impress you guys on the internet. So, whatever. I know. Mom didn't help. Mom, mom, you know, she'll blame it on the smoke or whatever. I'm a stoner kid and shit like that. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate y'all. If I don't see you again, Matt, if I don't see you again, people in the chat, I guess I'll see you when I see you. I don't know everything, but I sure do know a lot. I'm Chucky the fuck Pollins. Thanks a lot. So he's in the Discord, too, so you can always go fuck with him that way. And with that, peace. You want to sit at the table with the Syndicate? Check out our Patreon in our link tree or description below. Our merch site is officially live. We have all sorts of shirts, hoodies, and goodies to sort you out, and shipping is super fast, and most importantly, the quality is top-notch. I've been saving old designs for years for this purpose, so please check it out, syndicategear.com. We also have an underground syndicate discord where we get together and solve old strain history together daily. It's an amazing community of learning away from IG, and it's an amazing resource for old catalogs and knowledge. We hope you join our union of breeders and growers. Come check it out. Want to sit at the table with the syndicate? 
check out our Patreon in our link tree or description below. Our merch site is officially live. We have all sorts of shirts, hoodies, and goodies to sort you out, and shipping is super fast, and most importantly, the quality is top-notch. I've been saving old designs for years for this purpose, so please check it out, syndicategear.com. We also have an underground syndicate discord where we get together and solve old strain history together daily. It's an amazing community of learning away from IG, and it's an amazing resource for old catalogs and knowledge. We hope you join our union of breeders and growers. Come check it out.